Hello there, Joe Timmons from the 42nd District. I want to ask you about the experience of being a vice chair in the Transportation Committee. You are one of three. That's, that's right. You know, uh, I'm honored to be a vice chair on the Transportation Committee. I get to work closely with Chair Jake Five from Tacoma. It's been a great experience so far. Um, also, uh, it's thrilled to work with uh, Dave Paul and Brandy, Do uh, Brandy Donaghy, as well as, other as my other vice chairs. It's been a great experience. You know, the state passed a uh, the Move Ahead Washington transportation package last year, monumental investment in our state's transportation infrastructure, and uh, I'm excited to be working on how those projects um, can come to fulfillment, including in my district over the years ahead. And secondly, I wanted to ask you about the State Medical Reserve Corps. Yeah, yeah, actually, we're going to be changing the name of it to the State uh, Emergency Medical Reserve Corps. Uh, very excited about this bill. It's House Bill 1452. I uh, just testified in the Healthcare Committee on this bill. So right now, uh, there are 21 local medical reserve corps in the state, and a lot of communities, especially in rural counties, don't have a local medical reserve corps. So what this would do is it would create a state uh, emergency medical reserve corps that essentially can uh, line up volunteers uh, that can be activated in times of a public health emergency around the state. The, the timing couldn't be better in terms of we learned a lot from the pandemic and one thing that we learned is that volunteers are invaluable in responding to public health emergencies. So this state uh, emergency medical reserve corps uh, will be built out under the Department of Health and can be activated in times of a public health emergency. So that can be in times of a virus, in times of a local disaster, in terms of a weather event, um, if that you know, impacts particular communities. And I think about someone like my father-in-law, who's a pediatrician in Whatcom County, and you know, God forbid we ever have an incident like Uvalde, Texas, um, he could be activated in, in times like that to be a second wave to emergency responders to provide relief in, in local communities across the state. And that's one thing I really like about it. If we have an emergency in Whatcom County, uh, folks could be activated under the Emergency Medical Reserve Corps from around the state to come assist our community. And same with our volunteers to their communities as well.